Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land Plays The Binding of Isaac. Shall we do a little bit of a random run today? I think we shall. Sorry, I was just adjusting the volume as I am, you know, want to do at this point in my Isaac career just to make sure everything's okay. Just waving the mouse pointer in front of my face to wake up a little bit. I mean, it is the crack of dawn here, 1.43 p.m. Let's get started, shall we? You might notice that I haven't even mentioned that I have an Eve run. And normally that is, um, shall we put it diplomatically, deleterious to my chances for success. Now, uh, it, it also has been a couple of days since I played The Binding of Isaac, but I'm hoping that, well, you know, Stigmata is pretty good. It might be a special, a special item and maybe I shouldn't have picked it up right away, but so be it. Um, I'm hoping that by, uh, you know, maintaining good mood and morale, I'll give myself the best chance possible for success. If nothing else, you know, uh, Stigmata is an item I've never, you know, confirmed what it does or does not do. But it definitely, you know, demonstrably raises our health. So if nothing else, uh, I'm, I'm excited to have gotten the extra HP, even if it doesn't raise our damage. And, you know, our tiers don't seem to be hitting particularly strongly relative to how they did before. But that doesn't mean it didn't help out at all. But I'm happy nonetheless to have gotten some extra HP, which is something, you know, as Eve, you really want. Maybe, you know, you get an HP in your first item room and you start thinking, hey, with a deal with the devil coming at some point, um, if I get another HP upgrade here, I could take a deal with the devil and still be very, very comfortable from an HP standpoint. That should, yeah, that really hurt Pin there. Did you see the uh, Binding of Isaac post? Well, it, it'll be like last Monday now. I want to talk about that. I knew we, well, I had a hunch we'd get some HP there. Um, but, uh, yeah, there was a, you know, it was a post about, well, from Ed, about how there's, uh, you know, so many different kinds of, of rooms and varying sizes and different, like, unique elements that can be found in each. And the, uh, the gift that he showed was of, like, a boss room that contained two pins. And I was like, oh, you know what? That is, like, absolutely the best way to have, like, a champion version of pin. Because one pin, not a problem at all. Two pins, I can actually see that being a, um, you know, a difficult boss fight. This pin wants to buy you flowers, just go ahead now, you know what I mean. Anyway, we're gonna move on. And what I wanted to talk about, I got a little bit off on a tangent in my own mind, but I didn't verbalize it, um, is this whole, you know, last Monday, this Monday thing. I don't care which one you, uh, you subscribe to, whether, you know, like, what's this Christmas? Is this Christmas the one that just passed, or is this Christmas the one that's coming up? And if you think, you know, you have an answer and you're gonna argue about it, you're part of the problem. Because what I'm about to say is, just just stop getting mad at people about it, man. It's okay. You know, I got this for this Christmas. And you'd be like, well, it's not actually this Christmas. It's it's technically last Christmas, isn't it? Hey, do you want to come to the pub with us this Friday? Uh, excuse me. This Friday was the Friday that was three days ago, not the Friday that's upcoming. That's the next Friday. Stop being a pedantic scumbag, you piece of garbage, okay? They're just trying to communicate with you. That's what freaking the, the words are. They're designed to communicate an idea, and if you're going to be pedantic about it, that makes you a big old ding-dong, and people aren't going to invite you to the pub anymore or tell you about their fantastic Christmas stories, okay? So, consider uh, being a little bit less of a, a Melvin about all this stuff. Anyway, you're entitled to... Uh, you're entitled to, uh, you know, whatever kind of ethos you want for the last Friday, next Friday type dichotomy. Just stop being, uh, you know, so vigilant and, and militant about its misuse. Just start, you know, respecting that other people might use the words differently. Anyway, that's all I said. So, you know, go to edmundm.com, look backwards until you find the post that I'm talking about, and you will, uh, you'll understand what I'm talking about, and then we can all, you know, get along again, like, um, a, a war song or a Smash Mouth song, depending on your age or also maybe your musical preferences. Anyway. We're fighting Famine. I think our odds of getting a deal with the Devil are pretty low, given that I did take some some dumb Red Heart damage. It happens from time to time. I'm not um, not overly perturbed by it. You know, I'm not going to beat myself up over it. It's not worth it. If I take damage on this fight, I'll beat myself up a little bit, because that'll lower my deal with the Devil chances to nearly zero, if not, uh, like, mathematically zero. Um, but I should still have, like, roughly a one-third chance. At least that's that's my, you know... Uh, my Farmer's Almanac wisdom is I still have like a one-third chance of getting um, a deal with the devil just by not taking damage against the actual boss that you're fighting. So hopefully this will uh, work for me. We've already gotten two HP, getting a single cube of meat helps out. Yeah, that's pretty much how I figured that would go. And uh, before going down to the next floor, of course, we'll check out our curse room. This could also give us access to the item room, or sorry, the secret room, which could give us enough money to make the shop worthwhile. Uh, also, two spirit hearts, so there is that. Probably shouldn't have... Whoa, this is exactly how this turned out. Um, 
Probably shouldn't have taken those spirit hearts just yet because I'm gonna lose like almost all of them just by leaving, but whatever. Spirit hearts, red hearts, it doesn't matter much to me. Now that was uh, super lucky. We have an opening in our shop as well for a spacebar item. Uh, well, that's not really it, is it? But that's fine as well. We picked up a nun's habit on the cheap and uh, a key as well. I'm not gonna take holy water um, because it can ruin a familiar and its act like its actual effect when it ends up working is not very good, but. You know, four hearts, uh, maybe a damage upgrade, a cube of meat, and an nun's habit, I think is pretty good as Eve to be heading down to the next floor with. So I'm relatively pleased with the way this run has gone. Caves, you know, nothing to sneeze at with uh, not fantastic killing ability so far, but we're uh, relatively comfortable, I would say. Certainly not looking um, too realistically at the possibility of death on this floor, I would say. Now, if we could actually hit some enemies, that would be a huge benefit for me. And, you know, as with any run, I hate to, you know, make these runs, you know, distill them or reduce them down to their most basic principles. But we're probably in the best possible situation for ourselves, or we give ourselves the best possible chance for success if we just manage to pick up some, uh, you know, better chances for a deal with the devil. So many deal with the devil items can, can help us out a great deal and uh, eliminate pretty much all of the problems that we, uh, we have right now. And what problems do we have right now? Well, we're, you know, we're on pace, which is great. You know, if you're having a race or, you know, you're trying to complete a 50-page thesis or something and you've given yourself, you know, you've paced out the amount of work that you need to do to make that happen and you're on pace, that's great. But it can also be nice to outpace your expectations a little bit, right? Just so you, uh, you have a little bit of a buffer period in case life gets in the way at some point. Let's check out our item room. So I'm hoping that we can pick up, eh, well, that's actually not so bad. Pretty much guarantees that we'll be able to get uh, good use out of um, blood banks, especially with the nuns. Well, particularly because of the nuns' habit, anyway. Um, but yeah, uh, we, we want to be a little bit outpaced right now, or we want to outpace the game a little bit. If we can get a staggering amount more HP, if we can get a staggering amount more tears, more damage, etc., etc., that's how we're uh, going to increase our odds of success. And you know, of all the notable Isaac players, I would say I'm probably the least scientific. You know, I play by heart for the most part, but uh, I'm trying to be a little bit mathematical here. Isaac can be a mathematical game. All we can really do, you know, every decision we make is just something that either increases or decreases our chances of success. Um, of course, you know, your actual, like, performance notwithstanding. Um, so I'm just trying to give myself the, the maximum chance here. Anyway, let's keep moving. Uh, we'll probably fight the boss right away. I haven't taken any red heart damage yet. Really low on bombs and not fantastic on keys over the course of this run so far, but... Oh man, that's that's shitty. Well, is it shitty though? This is a, a decision that I don't think I've had uh, I've had to make for quite some time. Or maybe, maybe ever. Um, we have... I might as well use none, or, uh, Yum Heart at this point, by the way, before I forget. But anyway, um, we could take the pony. We can't reroll it, so we know the pony's gonna be our item whether we want it to be or not. Um, and there's there's positives and negatives associated with the Yum Heart and associated with the pony. If we take the pony, we can fly and we don't have to worry about getting an ability to fly later. That is true. But with the Yum Heart, we're basically guaranteed to get unlimited, well not unlimited, but a lot of money and uh, a very good chance at getting those, you know, uh, blood bags after getting an IV bag probably from one of them, uh, from the, uh, the blood banks. So. As, as worthwhile as the ability to fly may or may not be, I think I'm going to stick with the Yum Heart for now because the extra potential for HP and speed via the blood bags is super important. Plus, beyond that, it also gives us some great survivability and uh, the ability to fly is a fairly easy item to come by. That's not to say that I won't replace the Yum Heart for something in the future um, that is not the Yum Heart, obviously, but uh, it's more to say that uh, I'm, I'm content with the Yum Heart for now. I understand the Yum Heart's value. And uh, I think that its its upside is better than the relatively, you know, samey... Let, let me put it this way, the variance in Yum Heart is probably fairly high, you know? So, like, we could end up getting almost nothing of value out of uh, using it for blood banks and stuff like that, or we could end up getting a whole hell of a lot. Um, I might as well, like, I don't know why I would take another hit here, but it seems like the right thing to do. Eh, I guess it's not necessary, is it? Um, I was, I was getting it confused with like a Book of Revelations play, but anyway, um, yeah, so the Yum Heart has relatively high variance. Could be awesome for us, could guarantee us, you know, 50 cents and a bunch of HP. 
could give us borderline nothing but a better chance of surviving the mid-game here. Um, but the ability to fly is much more static in its uh, positive and, and negative effects, right? In its potential. It's, it's like having, uh, maybe you're playing FIFA or something like that, and you have a, a midfielder, and you know, they're currently rated a 50, but they have 99 potential, versus a midfielder who's currently rated, you know, a 70, but th their potential is 70. They're already maxed out, you know? Hopefully, at, you know, over the course of that, one of those fucking analogies worked out. Now, we, uh, we have a lot of HP that we can get here, so, uh, I'm thinking, might as well give this a try, right? And we'll, we'll keep it up, and we'll do it one more time, and there we go, we'll open it. We got Guppy's Head. Well, Guppy's Head is actually a little bit more interesting than the Yum Heart, but I think the Yum Heart is better. So, we got a lot of spacebar items I'm not necessarily thrilled with on this floor. Now, there is a chance that with our two bombs, we could make something incredible happen with our shop here. There's a chance that it would just blow up in my face, though. Well, there's our secret room, and that is a little bit more than exactly enough money to give us an item from the shop. So we've gotten super lucky with our uh, secret rooms and our, our shops so far, and how could I not, right? I've got to go with Book of Revelations. We've got one level cube of meat, this will help us stack those up. Um, you know, we've got Nun's Habit to back us up as well. It's even better than the Yum Heart. It's just like a better version of the Yum Heart, in my opinion. So they're basically back to full health. And this was the space bar item floor, but we end up leaving with one that I think is, you know, pretty darn good. Down to the next floor, shall we? And it is going to be Caves Part 2, Curse of the Lost, means we should have a larger floor than normal. Uh, remember, with Nun's Habit, Book of Revelations, it's effectively impossible for us to lose health. Are you fucking kidding me? Unless they, they do one full heart of damage, which they actually did there. Alright, so I've learned my lesson there. You know, better to learn it sooner rather than later, I suppose. Uh, I'm not very pleased with the way things went there. What do we need on this floor? Well, you know, honestly, from a space bar and health standpoint, we're pretty much sorted. We need damage. We need tears. Uh, we need uh, we need killing power, you know? Not Krillin power. I already have the Krillin power by virtue of uh, my baldness. That was a, the worst possible room to take uh, red heart damage on, considering we were going to get a Book of Revelations charge anyway, but so be it. Playing pretty sloppily, I'll admit, but part of that is uh, due to the fact that Unfortunately, I can't, uh, I, I can't kill enemies as fast as I would like, as quickly as I would like, I guess. Um, we also have no money. Let's see what we got here. Unicorn horn. That is exactly not what I needed. Well, we got a little bit of money out of this room at the very least. Uh, hmm, let's keep moving on. Let's keep moving on. Alright, those guys are gonna hit me. I'm not trying to be defeatist, I'm just trying to be realistic. I mean, that's the standard defense of a cynic, isn't it? But, sincerely, these guys end up being a little, uh, a little cheeky for me sometimes, especially as they start moving around to become a little bit less uniform to dodge. Now, we don't really have the range necessary to, you know, pop these guys from afar. And I'm afar from good at aiming, but, uh, my diagonal shots actually doing quite a number on them here. That was pretty good. Now, with only one of them left, maybe we actually will escape this room without taking too much damage. Well, we'll pick up that red heart eventually. Not yet, though. Let's see if we can find some uh, rooms of actual importance here. Can't do anything with that, unfortunately. I'm starting to... starting to think that this floor, maybe, is the floor that really has the best chance of determining our, our overall chances for success. I would love to see an arcade. If not on this floor, just, man, in the future, even one arcade can allow us to generate so many spirit hearts from red hearts that it could give us momentum that would carry us forward through the rest of the game. You know, sacrifice six red hearts temporarily to gain um, three spirit hearts. That's a big boost. Plus, you maybe get the HP upgrade from it and you get the money that you can use on the shop. I hate this, uh, th this doorway for Chubb. It is so fucking annoying. So, we've got some issues here. Uh, this is a fight where I really, really, really don't want to take damage. However... Uh, this is also one of the enemies that, you know, if you can't do piercing shots or, you know, something akin to piercing shots like Mom's Knife, Brimstone, etc, etc. Uh, you, you got a problem dealing with the, the HP because there's an awful lot of HP here relative to this. That was very close. Relative to uh, a lot of the other enemies that you'd end up facing. Now, luckily, this is not, you know, the fastest version of Chubb there. Um, but this is going to be a long fight and Stigmata is not the... Uh, you know, the barn buster that I might have expected when it comes to damage. It's certainly, you know, it's no pact. It's 
it's no mark, and it's no, uh, it's no pentagram. Unless it is one of those things, in which case, I was just telling a joke, ha ha. I know the mathematical significance of these Isaac items, of course, I, I've played so much. After 800 episodes, how could I not know the mathematical properties of all of these? Surely! If you just play the game enough, you would divine the, the values in the code, right? That's, that's the logic there. Um, anyway, we're gonna keep this up. It's gonna be a long, fucking fight here. Oh, careful. Yeah, that was a, a ballsy dodge. I'm, I'm trying to keep my, uh, my head above water here, you know? Trying to just be smart. The dodges are the most critical thing of all. And if I kill Chubb and then take damage against the Silkworms, I'm going to be so mad. Well, let's put it this way. I'm going to be mad in general if I take damage on this floor because, uh, uh... Or if I take damage on this fight, considering how long we went without taking damage. Also, why are we not fighting Pestilence? I hate that Book of Revelations does that sometimes. Okay, well, we might as well take this, just in case we want to buy two items. Or, you know, trade for two items. Of course, the only option is Guppy's Paw. Uh, and we don't have enough spirit hearts to take it. Whereas Guppy's Paw would be amazing to take, unfortunately we just can't. So fuck me, I guess. That is, uh, super unfortunate. Man, that sucks. Why would there even be a spirit heart deal there? Well, uh, now we've got some interesting consequences as a result of that. I'm very happy to have the HP. Don't let me get too down on that. That's exciting. 5 HP is pretty good. Especially if we can get something like Guppy's Paw. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Fuck me, um, okay. Let's, uh, hope that we get more keys. Maybe we can open up a golden chest or just, you know, have keys for the next level. There's extremely low chances of there being an arcade on this floor, I think by virtue of the fact that we don't have, uh, or we didn't enter this floor with over five cents, nor do we have over five cents now, but, you know, when we generated the floor, we didn't, uh, even come close, so. I would say that uh, that's probably a bit of a pipe dream. So if nothing else, I would love to get over five cents and be able to keep it over five cents, my, my value for, for money right now, just so I could maybe have a chance to spawn arcades in the future. So there's a library. Uh, you know, we, we've seen some books. I've, I've read some books I know how to read. I learned it back in grade school when I was young. Uh, now, just keep moving. Just keep moving here. Really want to kill the bomb flies. We're in a relatively safe line here. So all I have to do is just stay, like, dodge horizontally along this line, and then I can't take damage. So we can only dodge laterally. So let's try not to kill him in a way that he can shoot a shot, like, laterally directly at me, like he just did. Anyway, Book of Revelations. Oh, come on! Well, at least we got Balls of Steel back. Now we can take that Guppy's Paw deal if they still have it. And I would take it, and I would turn all of my Spirit Hearts into, uh... Or all of my Red Hearts into Spirit Hearts. Don't even question it. I will do it. There's no question about it. Because even with, like, Nun's Habit, I, uh, can still play Blood Banks if I wanted to. Uh, and, and come out, you know, with more money, but still the same amount of HP. Because of the Nun's Habit Book of Revelations combo. At least until we get down to the next floor. Or, the, not the next floor, but uh, the next, you know, set of floors. Uh, we could have a secret room. So I want to trade a bomb for a key, but I also want to see if there's a chance for us to get a secret room. Um, which does not appear possible. But we will do the bomb for key trade. I don't think we're going to open that golden chest, though. I think we're just going to save as many keys as we can. And I'm not going to open the shop, either. So, it is what it is. Maybe we get super lucky here. Didn't think so, but... At least we've learned. Okay, so it's down, left, left, down, 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 right, and uh, and we leave. And hopefully Guppy's Paw is still there. Would totally take it. I'd go back to Book of Revelations after taking Guppy's Paw, but I would take Guppy's Paw for now, no question about it. And you know, like, I can walk on this and get one cent and then get my spirit heart back, but it seems like kind of a dumb deal. Nope. What if I just keep, like, walking in and out? Can we get a deal with the Devil Spawn? Come on, baby! RNG, work with me here! Okay, well, it's down to the next floor then, isn't it? Necropolis 1. This is, um... I, I hesitate to say this is what I was afraid of, but we are in a position now. I mean, you saw how much I struggled with the caves. Not from an HP standpoint. From an HP standpoint, we did fine. Uh, but from a, like, actually, you know, hurting and killing enemies standpoint, we were pretty weak. Uh, certainly, uh... You know, would love to get some more damage here. Now, this is going to be a, a bit of a tricky situation. 
I, I don't really want to open that, but I kind of do. But mostly, I'm just thrilled to have been able to get the money. So this is this is what you worry about. Um, this I would say that this room by itself is probably the reason that Necropolis is such a pain in the ass. But I did manage to dodge Chub. This is not you know that much harder. It's just like dodging four Chubs at once. Um, but the silkworms, you know, are less problematic. Instead of being silkworms that charge at you, instead they just shoot. No big deal, right? But luckily we do have Book of Revelation, so, um, you know, we can, uh... We're not gonna die on this room. We could take some dumb damage, lower our deal with the devil chances, but we're not gonna die. Oh, come on! I hate when they, like, stop midway through, and then completely change direction. How does that even work? Fucking AI on these things is like... Stanley K Kubrick, Haley Joel Osment level. Okay, we're gonna be done with this room. This is the reason that this floor is such a pain in the dick. Uh, and the bomb bag. I would like to take a moment to point out that our item rooms thus far have been god awful. Uh, we've we had stigmata. Stigmata was great, even if it is, does just end up being HP. And again, that's something that hopefully I'll remember to take a look at the comments and get some clarification there. Um, that even still, just getting an HP is is pretty good from an item room. Uh, but everything else, you know, lots of spacebar items that I don't want, and, um, well, lots of, lots of just shit that I don't need, basically. Oh, yeah, don't dodge right into that. Money situation's good, we can actually buy something from the shop, theoretically, and, um, can we not get hit here? Yeah, okay, good. Um, we could theoretically buy something from the shop and still have enough money to spawn an arcade on the next floor. And, of course, this is, um, you know, the best possible outcome of Book of Revelations, is you, uh, Instead of fighting war, you end up fighting conquest, and instead of fighting pestilence, you end up fighting chub for some dumb fucking reason. Now, this is, um, you know, let's put it this way. Don't hold your breath for a deal with the uh, devil or angel. But at the same time, um, we're not gonna die. You know, we, we have, uh... Ugh. I'm, I'm losing HP, I'll admit, but we're not gonna lose enough of it to be put in a really tough spot. Some bad RNG so far. I don't know if the conquest thing is actually RNG or if that's, you know, there's some more complicated, you know, mathematical footwork at play there. Now, remember conquest, we learned something about him. I mentioned it a few episodes ago. Uh, conquest doesn't actually uh, randomly spawn those bolts. There are a few safe places where you can stand and not actually find yourself in harm's way. So come on, dead bird. As long as we can stay around that doorway, uh, we should be safe, I think. Um, Dead bird, you are as much as I hate to say it. You're my you're my go-to guy here. There we go. I'm not sure if this is just you know observer bias happening right now, but uh, I certainly seem to be safe when I stand in those places. About halfway through the fight, and again, th this fight is, if nothing else, just tedious because we we're not gonna get hit. We like, or I'm sorry, we're gonna get hit, but we're just not gonna die. The odds of us dying are are probably almost nil. But, um, you know, it's it's just very slow and, and laborious, isn't it? And it's hard to dodge, and, you know, we will lose health overall because some of the shots that Conquest spits out are, uh, you know, tough to dodge, and some of the hits that uh, Conquest dishes out are one full heart. Come on, dead bird. Work with me here. Work with me. Do some damage. I can't really hit him from here, so this is, uh, this is your time to shine. Oh, that was great. Yeah. That's another one full heart of damage thanks to our knockback there. Now, if there is a benevolent force in the universe, Relic, Miter, well, obviously this comes after a deal with the devil. Relic, Miter, um, Holy Grail, Sacred Heart, obviously. Something like that. Work with me, right? Work with me. Considering we've already... Thank you. Considering we've already had, um, not only Conquest, which is going to give us the White Pony, but also the Headless Horseman, I feel like it's it's my right to be a little bit incredulous by the the item generation so far. Seriously, like is your is your AI just broken? Like, thank you for moving. Did dead bird just like disappear from existence? It's faded from the corporeal plane. Okay, don't. Oh my god, I I'm gonna take red heart damage, aren't I? Yep, there it goes. I'm I'm pissed off at myself. I'm pissed off at the game. I'm just pissed off. Just die. Thank you. There's our cube of meat. Well, they didn't drop White Pony at least, so we got a second level cube of meat. Thank you very much, Conquest. That was very nice of you. Thank you for that. Wow, this game is so generous right now. Wow. Okay. I don't mean to sound bitter. I am a little... I'm bitter, you know, like a, like a Bergamon or something like that. 
Not a burger man. I'm a burger man. Let me handle my toppings. Damn. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I don't know why I'm worried about taking damage. It doesn't, like, well, I guess taking damage against enemies that do one full heart matters. But apart from that, pretty much meaningless. Uh, sure. Okay. We will trade a bomb for a key, obviously. That allows us to open the shop. And maybe some golden chests as well. We have three. I didn't actually notice. I thought we only had two. Oh, the spiders! This is freaking uh, so, mon so many spiders. It's like a slint album in here. You know what? Hit me again. Come on, hit me. I want you to hit me. There we go. Okay. This is another reason that this floor can be problematic. You know, these enemies, uh, they're, they're nothing to sneeze at from an HP standpoint. They're, they're pretty tough. When you have the, you know, limited amount of damage that I do. Why don't you hit me? There you go. Thank you. Might as well take a, an even number of hits if we're, um, if we're trying to keep our HP as high as it can possibly go, right? Maybe it doesn't matter, but I know for sure mathematically that this, this at least keeps us at equilibrium. And, okay. So, are we fast enough to get out of Lust's way? I think with knockback, we should be. Yeah, I think we're gonna be fine. Poison touch? Golden chest? I don't know. What are we gonna get? A pill? Okay. Please be good. I'm so thankful that wasn't a speed down, at least. That could have been really problematic. So we're a little bit lower on money. I still would love to stay at uh, or above five cents for reasons that, uh, at this point, are probably more or less obvious, because I've mentioned them many a time now. Um, we want to be able to spawn arcades, or have at least a chance to spawn arcades, because Blood banks and uh, the like are, you know, very much in our best interest, considering we can gain HP and uh, spirit hearts and uh, money from them. It's really like a win-win-win-win situation. Now, probably, uh, I don't know, we'll probably just go to the curse room and not, you know, be too fuddy-duddy particular when it comes to our, uh, you know, spirit heart generation here. We'll just go to it right away, even though we're about to get one anyway. A little bit of a waste. Whatever. There's Guppy's tail. Um, good, bad, I'm the one with the tail. We could still become Guppy, it's a little bit unlikely. If Guppy's paw showed up again, I would love it, though. Alright, 11 bombs, let's start, you know, being a little bit more intelligent here. Looking for our secret rooms. Nope. Alrighty. Well, we've got some more rooms to clear out here. I really can't stress enough how, how I need damage. I need fucking damage. Without it, we're, well... Not in a very good place. Let's be polite about it. Um, get you to come down. Come on. There we go. And, ah, uh, okay. Phase two. We did it, Reddit. Okay. Now, gain some keys there, and uh, I can't remember if we picked up... Well, I mean, we did pick up a bomb, but... I guess I, earlier I used a bomb there, but we got a tinted rock and uh, six cents out of it. So, I, it's hard to... You know, parse the value there, but I'm happy with it. We used a key and we got a bomb and two keys back. That's good. There's a spirit heart. There's our shop. So, uh, we know we're not gonna be fighting greed, which is actually excellent. Maybe this is our chance to buy a compass or something. And hopefully... We can get enough money to also... Spawn an arcade on the next level. But, I don't know, maybe there's just gonna be a shitty item in here and that'll be okay too. That's not a shitty item, that's a pretty good item. Now we're gonna look for the secret room, and hope that the secret room gives us enough money to spawn an arcade on the next floor. And we don't need much. In fact, I actually am cons- well, not considering, now I've done it, I'm gonna use a bomb to get one penny here. Just so we only need one more cent. Uh, there's our secret room all the way over there. That is like, as I was bombing, I was like, is it that one? No, probably not. It was, though. It's just my luck, the secret rooms elsewhere. Am I really... Is that soul decision? What's wrong with me? Alright, please, a penny, a penny, a penny. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, well, we got the Onk! The Onk's a great item. I'm happy we have the map as well. I would, you know... I would have liked to have gotten the best of both worlds, but... Oh, well. Sorry, it took a huge, uh, caffeine hit there. Yeah, it's not the caffeine, is it? It's the... It's the liquid, but anyway. I drank some coffee, not to phrase it in the weirdest fucking way possible. Anyway. Oh, man, I really hoped that one of those would pay out. Well, no, that's not gonna do it for us either, is it? Can we get, like, three bombs for, for two here? We can get three bombs for three, or two bombs for two. Well, we might as well get two bombs for two, rather than one bomb for zero. 
Yeah, okay. Sure, we did it. Next floor. How interesting. Well, there's a library. Um, we are gonna go to it. I'm not, you know, thrilled about it. But I went to it because we've seen a lot of books. Maybe we actually can start to take some out of the rotation. And I thought, you know, maybe Book of Sin would be in there. So trading one key uh, for Book of Sin, which could give us maybe a key or a spirit heart or something would be lovely. There's our money. We can use that to not really do anything. Hmm. I'm gonna keep this up here. Should be okay. We'll open up this golden chest. It well, there's if only one of these could have been on the last floor, that would have been amazing. Uh Okay, well, hopefully our shop doesn't have greed, but it will. It didn't. Man, I really don't relish the thought of getting the ladder here. I'm going to, but I don't relish the thought. I'll buy the key as well. You know, we have Guppy's Tail. Those golden chests could come in handy. It's not like we're going to be using our money for anything else but judgments at this point, so... You know, shit happens. I'm just going to stand back as much as I possibly can here. It's not like we're going to earn a deal with the devil here anyway. We're pretty much uh, just getting by on our own merits at this point, which are dubious to say the best. Now, there is a boss trap room. I would love to visit upon that, but... Uh, in order for that to happen, we're going to need a little bit uh, a little bit of good luck to come our way. In particular, um, if an arcade's not going to be possible, which is, you know, possible, um, then one thing we are going to need is perhaps a temperance card? Or, apart from that, I can't really think of it. Just noticing the lights are flickering uh, in my apartment right now. Well, in my room. I can't say for the whole apartment because the door is closed. I hope that is just a burning out light bulb and not some kind of catastrophic electrical storm. I really don't want to lose this episode. Also, don't want to close my eyes because I miss you, baby, and I don't want to miss the thing. But, okay, well, lard is lard, right? Lard sat alone on an item rock. Turned our jog into more of a walk. All of my, you know, musical references are courtesy of, of the rock band franchise. Anyway, please. Extra speed would be lovely right now. Lard is great, actually, you know. I'm, I'm happy to have it, but uh, we, we need more speed. <laughs> we need more speed, we need more damage, We need, like a tears upgrade. Right now, we are a slow-moving fucking U.S. Civil War era dreadnought, and, you know, we can, we can do a lot of damage, but nobody's gonna be singing our praises in, uh, you know, the 20th century. Schizoid man. Now, let's keep it going here. You know, if we just keep kind of rolling about in a semicircle here, we're harder to hit, and, you know, then we can hit the enemies, and we can kill them, and maybe get some advantages for ourselves. Very much guessing that uh, we probably do not have an arcade in the cards for us. Huh? Yeah, would you say so? Looks like we've got our boss room down here, which is reasonably likely. And then beyond our boss. Beyond our boss room, it's possible that we have another special room there. Maybe it could be an arcade. It's not. There were a lot of possible room generations for arcades here. I think I'm just going to fight the boss, to be honest with you. This isn't lazy like, oh, I'm not going to explore the rest of the floor. It's actually like, I think we're losing more health than we gain. So let's try to speed this shit up a little bit to maybe give ourselves the best chance possible of success. I don't think we're gonna gain anything else from this floor except, you know, maybe we'd find some golden chests, but I wouldn't open them anyway because I wanna save keys for later in the game, if we can. All right, so mom, hey, you know, if you have to fight mom, regular version of mom's okay. At this point, I uh, I really, really desire some uh, third level cube of meat action. You would think that we would have it already. I'm, we're actually lucky that we have second level cube of meat, to be honest with you. We could have easily had two ponies show up instead of just the one. And the pon the first pony that showed up wasn't even due to Book of Revelations, was it? We had already fought the pony by the time we picked up Book of Revelations. That's weird. And then when we used Book of Revelations, we fought Shove. That's I mean, I, I've it's been a while since I've used Book of Revelations regularly, but I seem to recall that it being based on, like, if you use it an odd number of times or something, then you get the, the cube of meat boss, and if you use it an even number of times, then it spawns like a regular boss. I'm... Far, far too lazy to keep track of stuff like that, though. So again, uh, hopefully, you know, we fight death, which is not a absurdly problematic boss, and we uh, 
get third level Cuba Meat, which is a little bit like a passive but better uh, dead bird. I mean, dead bird's already a passive, but it is. This would be better, and it would be active at all times, not just after we took damage. But let's be honest: on almost every single room we face for the remainder of the game, we're going to take some damage. I'm not trying to sound uh, negative at all. Um, there are still, there are still outs for us on this run. There are ways that we can win. It's just, it's a, it's a tough sell at this point to imagine it happening, given the the run that we've had so far and the amount of decent luck, the, the the number of consecutive like good rolls for us to put it, you know, in a more mathematical context, I guess, that we would need to have in order to to justify being optimistic. It's it's just there's a lot of them. It's, it seems fairly unlikely. Okay, so we get the crates that could be good. It's probably the worst possible time for a golden key. High priestess is fine. Uh, the pill was also fine. Um, high priestess card is good. High priestess card is something we can take with us. But let's see if we can keep this going. Oh, of course. Okay. Now I've seen this layout before, and I'm pretty sure that the boss is on the far right side. Now that might change from time to time, but I'm pretty sure the first time I saw this, the boss was on the far right side. Can't tell you, by the way, how excited I am to have probably no deal with the devil chance and uh, an absurdly long trip. Uh, see you next fall uh, before encountering the boss as well, so I can struggle through, you know, 20 or 30 rooms like this uh, before getting there. That really bodes well for my chances. Especially considering we only have one more item for the remainder of the game, and it's almost certain to be a single cube of meat. So, well, not the remainder of the game, but the remainder of the game up to the point of the chest, of course. Now, that might sound, uh, again, like I'm being... I really thought cube of meat would take them out faster. Might sound like I'm being a little bit pessimistic. Not trying to be, uh, you know, negative, Mr. Negative. I don't like saying Negative Nancy because I feel bad for people. You know, you don't choose your name. But, you know, people out there that are named Nancy, now you're probably, oh, you're Negative Nancy, right? Like, that's not fair. Also, that's not funny. You know, don't judge people just based on the freaking name that they got going on. That's not very nice, is it? Are we really going to do this, Greed? Like, all you can give me is, is money or the Steam sale. How much do you think I value money or the Steam sale at this point? Fucking nil. I value them not. So, goodbye. Fun while it lasted. Not really. I, um... Okay, l let's take a look at the, the tail of the tape right now. Our run probably looks pretty good. Like, HP, decent amount. Book of Revelations, uh, Nun's Habit. That's gonna keep us alive twice as long as we... You know, as God intended, basically. Uh, you know, not to bring religion into it at all. It's just a joke. Get over it, you freaking ding-dongs. Um... But, um, yeah, that's going to keep us alive longer than normal. I still think that there, um, if you look at this floor, there's a, there's a small chance, not insignificant, maybe like a 15% chance that I end up losing before the end of this floor. How does it happen? Uh, we just keep encountering tough rooms and we get whittled down. There's a lot of rooms before the bosses. Maybe our first boss doesn't end up being who I think it's gonna be. Maybe it doesn't end up being death. Shit, maybe it ends up being death, but death does a number on me. Um, could happen. We'll see. I think, in all likelihood, we're gonna die on the cathedral. Um, and if I had to guess, I would say that it's probably gonna be the... Like, this is a room, by the way, that is uh, one of the difficult ones that can cause us some problems. This is the kind of... If we get three of these rooms on our way to the boss, that could be really, uh, really problematic. Um, but, uh... Yeah, I think best if you're gonna bet money on my death right now, probably we're gonna die before um, before Isaac, but on the chest. That's my guess. And we still got like 12 rooms to go to get to the tip of this freaking utero head here. Now, just hold this down. Uh, can we kill like one of these at least before this other one comes around? Yeah, we can. Okay. And then, this is the easy part, you just walk over here and let, uh, Meat Boy do his thing. Please, like, again, I'm not trying to complain. I don't think we've had the worst luck of all time on this run. We've certainly had runs that, you know, were much less powerful than this. And a lot of my own, uh, or a lot of my own mistakes have contributed to our problems, let's put it that way. To avoid having to rephrase the entire sentence entirely, which I basically just did anyway. Um, that being said... We haven't had a lot of cool tricks pop up, you know, no temperance cards, no teleportations to snag a deal with the devil after the mom fight. Um, you know, no nothing that really we could have done to to improve our item generation or, like, our, our base attributes right now beyond just, like, you know, 
having more spirit hearts so that I'll actually be able to get Guppy's paw, basically. Oh, fuck. Okay. Well, this is where uh, this room starts becoming a real challenge. Because, or this, yeah, well, this room or these enemies start becoming a real challenge because uh, they start doing one full heart, which means I can actually lose uh, a handful of HP here pretty easily. Having a third level cube of meat would help a lot, actually. But Dead Bird's doing what it does for now, and it's a little bit, you know, like amateur hour cube of meat, but it's okay. It's, it's getting it done. Almost out of spirit hearts here, unfortunately. Come on, Dead Bird. Thank you for actually targeting the right enemy for once. Please tell me, by the way, that this is the right way for us to be going. Otherwise, it's a long fucking walk back to base, you know? Ooh, yeah, that's good damage. Fair enough. Probably could have dodged it. Didn't. Could have, though. Oh, okay. There's, um, red hearts disappearing by the handful. At least we're at a half heart interval. Pretty quickly gonna find out if we're, um, if we're gonna be in our, uh, boss room territory here. And really, like, again, I apologize. I'm probably complaining like crazy right now. But, not very many tiers of damage upgrades. Like, zero, basically, except for stigmata. Makes it very difficult to get success. How are we gonna do this? I, I'm gonna, I'm being ballsy, okay? We get two plays. Each two red hearts gives us one uh, spirit heart. I'm, I'm changing my red hearts into spirit hearts on the fly. We can replenish them. But this also gives us four Babylon, some permanent Polaroid invincibility. Please. Please. Oh, fuck. Well, we can do this again. I really want the speed. I really want four Babylon. I really want um, the HP. I could open that. I could. I could. Please be a half heart. Oh, it's a full heart. That's okay. We can still do something with that. I'm going to open it. I am going to open it. I think if I... Okay, well. Good but bad, right? Um, I think if we didn't open it... What? We're going to die with one key instead of you know, giving ourselves a, the best possible chance, right? Work with me here. Okay, so that takes us down. It, it took half of our spirit heart, but it also gave us a lot more plays because of the Polaroid invincibility. Oh, here we go again. What have I done? Am I really going to go this deep down the rabbit hole? I think I'm doing it. I think I'm going this deep down the rabbit hole. I don't like myself right now. All right, let's fight the boss first. It's Blast Assist? I have, I've given up, honestly. Not, not given up on the run. I've given up trying to figure out how my Book of Revelations bullshit is working right now. This is also, uh, apparently, the hardest fight I've ever had against Blast Assist. We can't even whittle him down to the second phase here. Our, the amount of... The, the little amount of damage we're doing is actually absurd right now. I'm not trying to compare everything to Mom's Knife, but, you know, with Mom's Knife, you can win this fight in one swing without even it being that... Crazy, right? Without it being that unimaginable. Are you gonna drop a cube of meat? Is that how you do this? Like, what, what speed upgrade, probably, right? Yeah, range upgrade. Thanks a lot for your help. Well, shit, I think, you know, this might kill me. I'd rather be killed myself than, than get killed by mom's heart, though. Keep it going. One time, this is gonna pay out. It can't not. This is like total gambler's fallacy. Even if it's right once, it doesn't even help me out that much. I, I can't believe it. I really can't. You know what? Fuck you. Thanks a lot. Yeah, half hard interval now. We went from like 20 to 99 cents from that motherfucker. All right, well, time to fight mom's heart. I think we'll live. Um, we definitely would have lived if I hadn't been so aggressive on the blood bank, but I still think we'll live. I just think we'll we'll die, you know, on the cathedrals. It's it's borderline unfathomable that I wouldn't, in my opinion. And we could use high priestess here, but I think you know using high priestess here is an admission that I have no hope. Because really, we would love to save in 99% of situations, we would save uh, the high priestess card for Isaac. So I'm gonna continue as if it's business as usual. Please, thank you. And we're not gonna 100% give up yet. We're just like. I, I've given up in the in my heart, but not in my hands yet. 
And, you know, this is obviously, you know, sometimes you want to save bombs, and I'm a big uh, proponent of saving bombs, but we got to pull out all the stops probably just to survive this, this very fight. So, um, you know, no need to get too fancy about it, I'd say. Duke of Flies, an easy one, of course. There's no way we're getting out of this without fighting Chubb, and we'll probably have to fight him the whole way, which is really unfortunate because our damage has not changed at all since the first time we encountered Chubb. I will use some extra bombs because I can. Oh, and yeah, there we go. Took some damage against him this time. Uh, there we go. We actually weren't that far away. Did you see that fucking shot from this thing? We weren't that far away from not having to fight Chubb. But we did have to fight him. Pretty much trapped in a corner here. Alrighty. Um, I told you we're going to get through Mom's heart, and it's... Whoa, okay. It's looking increasingly likely that that will still happen. I'm very interested to see... Um, you got to be kidding me. I'm very interested to see what my outs on this run would have been. Like, if I had played things a little differently, if I'd know what the seed is, like, what, what possible items I could have gotten in a perfect world. But shit, maybe we open up a golden chest on the next floor and immediately it's just Polyphemus, right? I forgot that we have the Ankh as well, but come on, guys. Come on. Come on. That's not going to help us too much. Thanks for the money. This is, this is a real helpful assortment of goods here. Okay, so, Gerties. I've lost the ability to dodge. Oh, yeah, that was not very good. Keep using the book rev. It's an important one. Um, now, my general strategy is to stay on a, you know, parallel angle with them. That didn't work out too well. Come on, just one of you die, and the other one I can actually beat. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, okay. Dead bird. Oh, Jesus. Dead bird. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, hey, Pestilence. Nice of you to finally show your face despite having a first level cube of meat upon picking up Book of Revelations on the third fucking floor. I only got a second level cube of meat over the course of this entire run. I almost think that if I didn't have Book of Revelations, I would have gotten more cubes of meat. Is that plausible? I don't know. So, Horror Babylon is... is treating me quite well. Sorry, my brain got locked up there as I was doing the Devil's Dodge. Um, I almost feel like if I had Horror Babel, or if I had um, not taken Book of Revelations, maybe I'd have a third level cube of meat right now. Not that that would have won the run for us or anything, but still. Also, thank you for illuminating the second secret room to me. I appreciate that. Uh, okay, yeah, that's um, more or less what I was thinking was probably likely going to happen. Well, the good news is, with uh, the Ankh, Horror Babylon will be permanently on. The bad news is, our damage is still so shitty that, you know, Horror Babylon doesn't really... It doesn't push us over the edge. Not quite, at least. Maybe with just a couple of more, you know, things working out in our favor, we could have conceivably done it, but... Um, and I think we may live to actually see Isaac if he's over here. But our overall chances are, are quite low right now. Basically nil. Uh, I, I would give us like a one or two percent chance of actually, you know, beating this run. Beating Isaac, probably about the same chance to be honest with you. Oh, yeah, I had a feeling that might happen. We do basically have, you know, Blue Baby's Wafer. We take half damage as a result of Book of Revelations and uh, being entirely on Spirit Hearts. That's really helpful. Oh, good, yeah. So let's do the same room that I just struggled with, but uh, this time with like another mini boss on the on the hunt as well. Seems like a good choice. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to you know build build strength from within, but uh, I'm I'm losing. I have uh, invincibility right now, which is why I'm very aggressive with my dodging. But I'm I'm losing uh, I'm losing hope, guys. I'm sorry. I I tried to keep morale up as long as possible, but you know when the when the fight's over in your heart, the fight's over on the battlefield. That's um, Sun Tzu didn't say that. I think it was actually Chuck E. Cheese. Now, he's a he's a general in the the fun army. The fun nah, that doesn't work. Infantry. There we go. I knew there was a joke in there somewhere. Oki and Doki. Uh, yes, I could gamble on um, on that slot machine. Until I get, well, until it, let's be honest, until it breaks. And it could, maybe it'll give me four spirit hearts. But, um, you know, we could all fucking go to college and, and work hard and become doctors too, right? Why aren't we doing that? Because we don't want to. And I, 
I, I think our odds of success with this uh, slot machine are fairly low. Uh, it is our only out, but this is not a life or death situation. It's just a life or death situation in this video game. And I really don't want to spend 40 minutes playing that slot machine, not to mention I could just walk on the spikes accidentally and die. Don't act like it hasn't happened before. But we're going to ride this cowboy out until the end, saving as many horses as we can. Now what we hope for is an honorable death. And uh, a death against Monster 2 by walking into him would be dishonorable, not honorable. There we go. Book of Revelations allowing us to claw back from the grave a little bit here. A death against Fistula would be more honorable than a death against Monstro 2 by walking into him. But uh, still slightly dishonorable, but maybe I'm okay with some slight dishonorability. Be smart, okay. Yeah, looks like we're gonna survive this room. Thanks for the red heart, real helpful. Um, a death against Gertie is a hero's death. We're gonna try. In all sincerity, I'm gonna try. And we may succeed. But also, Gertie's kind of a cocksucker. Not that there's anything wrong with that. You know, if, if, if both parties are into it... Oh, I actually took my hands off the keyboard. I was so sure I was dead. If both parties are into it, it's totally fine. But um, I don't want you to suck my cock, Gertie. This is a bit problematic. Could be fine. If we can make it to Isaac, I would almost feel like we'd, we'd tried at least. I mean, I did try, but I would feel like that try was a little bit more valid and, and justified, you know? Oh no! <laughs> I was like one hit away! Well, I'm not gonna lie, that was not the most enjoyable Isaac run of my entire career. I hope that you enjoyed it, though, more than I did. In any case, as always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Make sure to show your support if you like the episode or if you like the video. Click the like button and of course subscribe if you want to see more Isaac in the future. I'll be back tomorrow with another one. See you next time.